Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webbed Weaving and we are starting on the second rag rug uh, that was on my warp. Now from my previous video you may have seen that I did the uh, Fields of Sunflowers rug and that turned out really great but I had more warp on the loom so I decided to just go ahead and continue weaving. It was going to be a uh, shorter rug, uh, probably about 20 seven inches long before hemming um, and I decided to use just various fabrics that I had already and no real pattern just kind of I think maybe they call it a hit and miss rug so some of the strips of fabric are longer than others and um, I wanted to see how that came out so again, my warp is a Brocken's 12-6 uh, rug warp uh, cotton. And this is a very high twist cotton, nice and strong, great for rugs. It's a neutral color in, I think the color is called wheat. So for the body of the rug, I have several different fabrics. I have this nice bold sunflower print in a yellows and greens and oranges. I have this blue and green batik type fabric. I have just um, a white with a very uh, faint print of snowflakes on it. I don't have very much of this, so uh, I think the total length of it is maybe a yard and a half. And then I have a, another yellow that, again, I don't have very much of it, maybe a yard and a half length. Um, and this is not really a batik, but kind of similar to a batik. And then I have this uh, Spring Bunnies uh, that I got on clearance after Easter. And I have like a five yards of this. So uh, nice big long strips of it. So I'm hoping that when I combine all these in kind of a random order, that uh, it'll come out looking really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so you can see I've got my scrap yarn or scrap weft in here uh, between the two rugs. I put my warp thread header in, and now I'm going to put in some uh, 3 8 inch fabric strips to create the uh, hem allowance. And these are a little bit shorter strips and I have two different um, patterns that I'm going to mix. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, but that's what we're doing here today is we're experimenting. So we're going to, um, I think I'm on this one, I'm going to weave the uh, hem allowance in a twill also. And I've just set this up as a two by two twill. And I have to let my cat in, sorry. <clears throat> Come on, are you coming? <clears throat> okay. Excuse me, ow. Excuse me. Okay. All right. So the cat is in. <laughs> oh dear. Boxer, what are we doing, kitty? Go ahead and uh, lay these in. What? Oh, 
come on. Can you do that? Huh? Can you jump up there? Is that a little bit too tall for you? Meow. <laughs> so I think we're going to alternate. Come on. Come on. Oh, good kitty. So my geriatric cat um, has been getting, uh, well, he got one. Uh, a shot for his arthritis and he is a new kitty um, he's about 15 or 16 years old and he hasn't been able to jump up on stuff like my weaving bench for a while now um, but when we took him to the vet the last time they suggested a uh, a new drug that is designed for cats arthritis and so we got it and it really has been a huge game changer for him he's now able to jump up on my bench and on the couch and the bed so he is much happier strips on the on a shuttle and then pushing the shuttle through um it just it didn't work for me uh they tended to get um, raggedy and have a lot of loose threads that came off so i have been um, laying each strip in with um and just using a stick shuttle to push them through and that has worked a lot better for me it's a little a little bit slower not really all that much slower i don't think um, i'm sure other people uh do it differently and but you know kind of you kind of have to do what works for you. Well, I like that. And especially if you're changing the, um, the fabrics with, you know, after every couple picks, it just, uh, yeah, it seems to seems to work for me.
And even though that doesn't go all the way to the end, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in um, another color. We're going to start weaving with the um, wider stripe or the wider strips of cloth. And these are three quarter inch. These were uh, three eighths inch. This will be our hem allowance. And I'm going to, we're going to be using several different colors here. We have some yellows and whites. And um, I like that. All right, so um, I'm going to look at uh, some alter alternate treadling. So I think for the body of this rug, I'm going to do a 2-2 broken twill, um, which is basically treadling. Um, so if you have a 2-2 twill, uh, treadle one is one two, treadle two is two three, treadle three is three four, and treadle four is uh, one four. With a straight twill, you would treadle one two three four, one two three four. Um, this was a zigzag twill, which I was treadling one two three four, three two one two three four. So now I'm going to switch to a uh, broken 2-2 two -two twill, um, which is also a mini herringbone. And that will be a 3-4-2-1 uh, treadling. So we're going to uh, see if I can remember that. <laughs> And you're not going to be able to see um, the, the traveling pattern as well because there's the, the warp is it's basically a weft based um, weave. So you're not seeing the warp a whole lot. Uh, but it does add some subtlety to the rug. And now I'm going to, well, I think we will. Try one of these. And this batik is kind of nice because, yes, it has a side. This is the top. Um, and then this is the underside, which is a little more muted. But if I don't get it, um, a hundred percent up upright it you're not going to notice it um all right so last one was four which i need to lay this in and then two
So we are going to um, do, a, do the hem allowance now. And so I'm going to uh, trim this back at an angle. And I can lay it in like so in the next shed. And then I will go ahead and lay in the same color or the same pattern, um, but in the 3 8 inch width. So we'll go ahead and lay that in. So now that we have the uh, fabric hem allowance in, we will put in the uh, warp thread header, and that's 3 8 inch width. It's just enough to hold the weft uh, stable. Next, we will put in some scrap fabric, just like we did on the beginning, and uh, this will hold everything in place while I get off the loom and before I can get around to hemming it. So I'm going to put in a fair amount um, just to make sure that I have enough and we will trim up all the loose threads. There are a lot of loose threads. This is one thing that I don't like about um, rag rugs. So we'll let the tension off the warp a bit in anticipation of cutting the warp threads. You're going to cut them back far enough that you have plenty to work with when you uh, tie the square knots up against the weft. And as with the previous video, I will leave a link in the description to the Warped for Good site, which has some great uh, tutorials on hemming rag rugs that don't have a fringe. And then we will um, roll up both rugs off the uh, cloth beam. And this is always a fun part of unrolling your creation and seeing what it looks like. I just love that bright yellow color of the Fields of Sunflowers rug. So I live in Washington State near Skagit County and every year we have a Skagit Valley Tulip Festival. And this picture is a picture of the fields of tulips, and they're just gorgeous. And to be perfectly honest, this rug reminded me of those fields of tulips. So I think I'll name this rug Fields of Tulips, or maybe Tulip Festival. Yeah, that's it. I like that, Tulip Festival. So I'm going to go ahead and put this Tulip Festival rug in my Etsy shop. And if you would like to have it in your home, use the code YouTube2024 and you'll receive a 20% off discount. Thanks for watching me weave this rug. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and happy weaving.